Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried to outfish oh, it? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> A fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, oh. fish on! <laughs> fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Oh, Winter fish trying to attack Winter, spring, to summer. From Sacramento River, San Francisco Bay, we're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut's what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta, Alan and Warren will help you. You gotta be kidding me. Fish on. Alright. Let's go fishing! Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trump. Hi, I'm Alan Fong. We're down in the California Delta, and we're gonna show you how to catch some bass. Bass? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. black bass. Okay. Know. And what are we going to be using, Alan? I'm going to even show you some tricks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> tricks are for kids. Nice guy. I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Now we're going to use and show the audience a bunch of different types of bait. You know, we pull up to certain banks, which mm -hmm. lure to pick up. Okay. And then go about showing them how to, you know, presentation is number one key, along with your tides. So okay. we're going to try to teach a lot of that today. So, tides. yeah. Presentation, tides, yep. different rods. Yep. I'm confused. You got to have a bunch of rods. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Walk off. <laughs> okay. Because that's Tide why we'll be going down a bank sometime and I'll just pick up a different rod uh -huh. because I know that it presents the bait to them better. Okay. And I'll probably catch more. All right. Pretty easy. Yeah, that's what you say now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I told you, you only need one rod. <laughs> yeah, right. A hot rod. Yeah. yeah let's go fishing. <laughs> All right. Okay, Alan, we came into this different type of a... It's a big flat area. Yeah. We got about maybe a foot of water over the top of the weeds. Uh-huh. And these bass, they'll cruise around in here. There's current. Mm -hmm. So you can usually pick them up on buzz baits, just fan casting, because the weeds go way out there, probably about another 80 yards out there. So you don't have to just go in next to shore? Nuh-uh. When the water's real high and, and they're real solid block tulies, then I like to go inside. But other than that, uh, on these big weed beds out here, it's a good chance of getting a big one cruising around here out on the top of them. Okay. So the best is like to throw uh, buzz baits or zero spooks or any of that type of top water lure. So why do they hit a buzz bait? Yeah, they're attracted to the noise, and it's always easier to pull fish on the surface than it is under the surface. Because uh -huh. when lures are under the water, they can get a good look at it. But on the top, when they look up, especially when you get a little breeze on the water, they can't see it, and it's easier to catch them. So it's better to have a little breeze on the water, a little ripple? Uh -huh. A little commotion on the water rather than having it dead calm, yeah. Okay. But we're just working this big flat here. Hopefully we can pick a couple up. And there's fun to catch them on these. You got a trailer hook on yours? No, I don't. That's all right. So I can miss them, huh? Yeah. Nice guy. <laughs> well, you gotta be prepared because a lot of times they'll come up way short of the bait. Mm -hmm. So I'll run like two treble, two trailer hooks on the back of these things. Okay. Uh, fishing tournaments. You know, they're, sometimes they're six, eight inches behind it, sometimes a foot behind it. So what do you use for a trailer hook? What type of hook? Um, I use a side wash. It's actually called an open end side wash. Okay. And I put the trailer on and then the the trailer hooks after it. Okay. And a lot of times you'll catch every one on a trailer hook. Huh. So if you don't have a trailer hook, those every ones would be gone. Okay, I'm gonna put one on. Nah, you don't need it. Yeah. Famous last words, huh? <laughs> hey Warren, I got one. Yep. Look at that.
This is yours. <laughs> Don't you know you're supposed to eat his lure? Yeah. Well, thank you. Just trying to help you out. I know. Warren, I got a bite. No. Huh? Oh, missed him. What? <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't think he was very big. Alan, we uh, changed up here a little differently. Yeah, we lost some water, so the tide dropped out, so now we're going to be doing some drop shots. Okay. I haven't heard very many people drop shotting in the delta. No, it's, it's kind of a new technique that's mainly done on lakes. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot of it in high desert lakes, but you know what? It's very effective here in the delta. When the water drops out, you get on the edge of these weed lines and we see some dead wood laying around, a, you know, right on the edge of the weeds, and that's where the fish hold on to. So we're only drop shotting like two feet of water. You know, I just got. Here's a fish. Here's a fish. Is that a fish. Oh. <laughs> you had that one trained to do that on camera. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Look at that. See there? Yeah. And all they're doing is just dropping the worm, you know, right there on the edge of the grass in the woods. Mm -hmm. and usually when the tide drops out, it gets it's pretty effective way it Uh-huh. So you're using a one knot hook? Yeah, when you drop shot, you use a small hook. He didn't tell me that. He didn't ask. He just said, bring five odd hooks. <laughs> you believe he'd do that to me? No wonder I kept missing him. Yeah, right. <laughs> learn all kinds of things fish about Alan when you fish with it. Oh man, I got a hog. Uh oh. Oh, you got a stump. I got a fish. No. And a stump. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What happened? Can't cuss, right? Can't cuss. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice one, too. <laughs> Shoot. Nice fit. You got a drop shot and a sink one. You finally caught one, Alan. <laughs> he did, didn't Believe you? That? Did you catch it or did it catch you? <laughs> it caught me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice fish. See that guy? Over there? <laughs> Stay away <Yeah>. from him. <laughs> got one? Oh! Oh, yeah. All right. Drop shot and right on the edge of the weeds. Hmm. See when the water drop down, uh -huh. fish move off on the edge and just sit there and wait. Okay. What are you waiting for? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Okay. Alan, we uh, start out. We're doing some. Uh, Pitching of Senkos. Yeah, we had high tide this morning, so we were using buzz baits, a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. But when the water dropped out, we went to drop shot. Mm -hmm. We caught a lot more fish that way, didn't we? Yep. Actually, you know, we've been, when the water drops out, it actually pushes the fish onto the weed edges. Mm -hmm. So then you're going to go to drop shot. Okay. And, and the drop shot is, it, it's, uh, what, just, it's a light reel? Um, I use a, the rods, they actually make drop shot rods. They actually mm -hmm. say drop shot on them. Okay. And they usually make two different models. And down here, I use the heavier one of the two. Okay. But they're still soft. They got light tips. Okay. And my, mine's not quite that way, is it? No, yours is a little heavier. Yours is not a drop shot okay. rod. But these are a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. They have a you know a lot softer tip on them. Mm -hmm. And then the reel it could be just any you know small reel that holds 100 yards. In the line? And I use a 12-pound fluorocarbon. Okay. Line. And then uh, the, the hook, and, and that's the key to it, isn't it? Uh, is Everything. Saying? The hooks, you know, your the length from here. Usually when you drop shot in a lake, you know, the hook's going to be up about another foot. Mm -hmm. Down here in Delta, I like to keep it around six to eight inches from the tie of the hook to the drop shot sinker. Okay. And these sinkers are the mojo type that go through the weeds real easy, so there's no mm -hmm. mass to them. Okay. And we're using quarter ounce. And I use a one-aught hook. 
Yeah, I found that out later. <laughs> he started out with a five eye. He was scaring them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, so let, let's show a little bit about how to tie these hooks up. Um, okay. It, it's done with a Palomar knot, isn't it? Uh, you do. I told you a long time ago, I do not use Palomars. You don't. They warn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is an ideal spot. We're at low tide. Weeds are all laying on the surface. Come to a point. It's a little bit deeper on the other side. See how there's no weeds over there? Uh huh. And then you got a log laying right off the tip. This is a ideal spot for a low tide to come over here and drop shot a, a nice fish. Okay. And it can only it only needs to be like two feet where that wood is, not even probably foot and a half, two feet, and it might drop off. We're sitting in like six. Uh huh. And that's plenty for these fish. So they don't require a lot of water. Oh, oh, oh! See that? Yeah. Right there, right where you're supposed to be. Not a bad fish. <laughs> Got that on a little drop shot rig. Mm-hmm. Six-inch worm. And one of the things about this is on the sinker it's only about six inches below the hook you want to keep it short not like your lake fishing where you're going to put it around a foot or a little more than a foot up mm -hmm. okay nice little bass see so just about six inches off the the sinker is fine okay Fish on Warren. Oh, oh, God, that was a, oh, that was a hog. Man, that one felt, oh, that was a hog. Idiot. That was a big, oh, man, that was a hog. Ah, oh, shh. Tell me. <laughs> burn it. Man, that was a hog right there. I am not duking you. I had him. That was a pig right there. I'm not kidding you. She yeah. Fish on. Come on, baby. Another good one. Watch him. Here he goes. Oh, baby. Yeah. She Come on, baby. <laughs> yes, sir, baby. This is what it's about. Drop shotting on a deal. <laughs> I just lost a big one and got another big one. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that beautiful fish. Got a bite. What it's about. And yeah. I just lost one. I guarantee you it was twice that big. Oh yeah. I'm uh -huh. not kidding you. You never see me go crazy like I did at first. <laughs> mm. yep. Beautiful. Right. You act like you knew what you was doing. All right, Warren. You got one? Oh yeah. You <laughs> nice one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got these fish trained. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You've been telling them all day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you're going to feel. The bigger ones, you'll actually feel less bite. Wow. See how the, see how the weed line goes straight towards that corner? Mm -hmm. Well, right where the weed line hits that corner that's where the drop off is and that's where those fish use so if there's any big fish around I guarantee you he's gonna be right there when the tide's low like this it's easier to see where the heck they should be mm -hmm. because you can see where all the brake lines are and where the weeds are when the, like 
if you would have came here earlier today, the water was three feet over top of this. You couldn't see nothing unless you knew how to read a depth line. So you couldn't tell where the weeds were or the, no. the depth? And actually, a lot of the fish, when the water's way up, they go up behind this row of tules here. Mm -hmm. So you can't get to them. There's no way you could get to them. And then when the water drops, it pushes them back. So that's why we're catching them on the edge here. Mm. A hit? Yep. Get him. Get him. All right. Got nice one. Keep his head up. Keep his head up. Where's he going? Oh. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Well, since you're occupied, I guess I'll have to make the cast. You're going to get the big one? Okay, grow up. <laughs> See right here? That's where he should be, right there. Right there. Come on. Come. Give me that love, John. All right, Warren. That should be a good one. Not bad. Teaching the guy all my secrets. Yeah. Woohoo! See, it's more about you know reading the structure too. Uh huh. Knowing, knowing where they're at. Mm -hmm. Knowing where they're at. All right. You got a bite, Warren. Huh? You got a bite. Fish on. Oh. All right. Not much of one. But he's a fish. All right. Ooh. That's how it's done, fish Alan. On. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The fish on, all right. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't mess around. Ooh. Got one. Oh, oh, oh man, he's it. a hog. <laughs> Don't you know you're supposed to bite that guy in the back? <laughs> hey Warren, did you learn anything today? Yeah. What? <laughs> How to set the hook? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boy, did you. Yeah. Just kept on going too, did you? Yeah. And I also learned that the bite, you using the drop shot, is really soft. Oh yeah. It's such a real subtle bite. Yeah. And a lot of times you're getting bit, just don't know it. Yeah, I, it just felt like the, I was taking the weeds and then after a while I realized they were just chomping on it and oh, yeah. chewing on it. They're so. chewing it. So if you keep pulling like you think it's weeds, they just spit it out. Yep, and they sure did. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. did. <laughs> we used all different kinds of things this morning. We start. We did a little buzz bait stuff. Sinkles, horny toads. Horny toads. Cut some nice ones on horny toads. Yeah, and the horny toad is kind of kind of neat because you can use this on into the yeah, through it's the fall. weedless. Yeah, and use it. You know, start in the springtime all the way through the fall. And and th this uh, uses a little bullet. Yeah, one sixteenth ounce bullet weight in front of it. And let it, it slide. Slides back and forth. You just reel it. And it's it, the easiest lure to use. Yeah. Throw it out and reel it in. And and you throw it across the top of the weeds and, mm -hmm. and or you swim it across. So, yeah. But overall, we caught all the big ones and most of the fish drop shot. Yeah. When the water dropped out, that's when you want to go drop shot. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I drop shot two feet of water down here. I'm, I'm lucky if I can drop shot in any water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, and we went through earlier and told you guys how to set it up, and it's real crucial the distance between the hook and the sinker. And it's pretty easy fishing. Yeah. There you go. So uh, we had a great time fishing. Yep. On the Delta. Yep. And come back and join us next week on Fun, Fun Fishing. fishing. Fishing is fine, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From the Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help yeah. you. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Hit that trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. Whoa. There you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Hey! Hey!
fishing, it's fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.